About a year ago, I reviewed this Toolkit RC M8 300 watt smart battery charger, which was the first portable charger that they released. And a few months later, they released an even smaller 150 watt version called the M6, which was great, but it did suffer some poor balance port electronics. Now, I didn't upgrade my M8 to the M6 because I was totally happy with this. But there was some chatter about the M6 balance voltages and calibration not being up to scratch, although I didn't have any problems with my M8 either. Now, a few months ago, I reviewed this M6D 500 watt dual charger, and it's become my charger of choice when I'm out flying. And this is just a charger. It hasn't got any of the fancy features of the M6 or the M8, but it is a dual charger. And it's got a totally different set of balance port electronics, which is well calibrated. And for me, this is a fantastic portable charger. And you'll see I checked the calibration of these in another video. But now, Toolkit RC have released an upgraded V2 version of the previous M6 that uses the same balance port electronics as the M6D. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Other than the balance port electronics, this V2 version is exactly the same as the original M6 smart charger. And that's been reviewed loads of times, so I won't go over it in massive detail. But what you get with this is a 150 watt charger that's capable of charging two to six S batteries of all the usual chemistries, LiPo, HV LiPos, lithium ion, and so on. Now, you power it on using an XT60 on this side, and you can use a power supply, or do what I do. I've got an old 10 amp hour battery, which I use in the field. Just throw it in your flight bag, and you get quite a lot of charges out of this. Just plug it in the side there. And as well as the XT60, on this side there's a USB port and you can use that for charging external devices, phones and so on, and you use this to update the firmware as well. And Toolkit RC bring out firmware on a fairly regular basis. And on this side is the main XT60 output and the plug for your balance lead here. You can see 2 to 6S. And it uses the soft capacitive touch keys rather than the scroll wheel on the M6. Now, these work fine. And the way this works, these are for scrolling, these two up here, you can swipe between them for winding voltages up and down, and that's like the select button, and that's like the exit button. Now, although these work great, and I can see where they've done this, I actually prefer the scroll wheel on the M6D. I know some people don't like this, but it's just personal choice, and this really works great for me. Now, the display on this is very clear, given that it's so small, it's color, and it's bright enough to use when you're outside. Now, this isn't just a charger, it's got a bunch of really useful tools built into it. You can use this servo port on the side here. Let me just take that out. There's a little servo port on the side there. And you can use that to connect and test servos and ESCs. And you can also use this as a variable power supply if you want. So you can plug your power supply on this side and then the settings on the output screen allow you to change the voltage on here. So it's sort of like a little DC to DC bench power supply if you like. And the great thing about this is that you can measure and output various types of signal. It outputs test, PWM, PPM and SBUS signals on the servo port on the side. So you can find faults in your ESCs or servos. And it does more. You can use it to measure PWM, PPM and SBUS signals on here. If you go to the measure, there. Okay, and you can measure PWM, PPM and SBUS. It's like a little oscilloscope. It's very good. So it means that you can see if your receiver is sending the correct signals, for example. 
it's a very good debugging tool to have with you when something isn't working when you're out in the field. And if you check out my review of the M8 for full details of all these functions, it's exactly the same as this. And you have to hand it to Toolkit RC. They keep on top of all the inevitable issues and they listen to their customers and improve their products pretty often. And I just like the way they work. This is a great little 150 watt charger and it only costs about 21 pounds or $26. And you can see the size. I mean, it's about half the size of the M8 and the M6D. It's tiny. And if you check out the links in the description, they'll show you the latest prices, but make sure that you get the V2 version. How can you tell? Well, when you power it up, it'll, oop, let's do that again so you can see it. It'll show the firmware is version 2.01 very quickly. And if you look in the Toolkit RC website, you'll see that V2.01 is only for the V2 main board. And that's the one with the updated balance port. And talking to the guys over at Toolkit RC, they've got a couple of new products coming very soon. And I'll let you know what they are as soon as I know anything. And a big thanks to Toolkit RC for sending me these brand new versions for review. And they've kindly agreed that I can give away a couple of these. So I'll be running a giveaway for these and some other products in the next few weeks, once I get everything sorted out. So remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I announce it. I'll see you next time.